So how much protein do you need to eat to build muscle within this video? And but there seems to be an overinflation of how much protein you need to eat within mainstream fitness. Now, one reason for this may be by overemphasizing how much protein you need to eat. You may struggle to get it from food sources and therefore have to spend more money on supplements. Research into protein intake and essentially they found that protein intake greater than 1.6 grams per kilogram did not continue to be effective in resistance training induced gains in relation to muscle mass. And so the correct way to take research such as this is not as a definitive number, but what this meta-analysis shows us and kickstarts within our thinking is that perhaps numbers are overinflated. Now these are the upper ranges suggested by these different people. First of all, I'm gonna start with Dr. Jim Stepani, very visible in the fitness industry, PhD, all over YouTube with nut nutritional advice. Now he has quite a high number and essentially, although he does vary, he says that 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight for muscle mass. And he even goes as far as saying up to two grams per pound of body weight. His argument is that the more protein, the better in terms of building muscle. And then Omar Isav, who has the number one ranked video on YouTube on this subject, and he cites Alan Aragon. Of course, his approach is to look at research. And he says one gram of protein per pound of body weight. And he says that, you know, if you're eating good amount of protein each day, not every meal has to have the highest quality protein within it. And then we have Mike Dolce, who is a uh, nutritionist specifically with elite MMA fighters. Essentially, he doesn't really give specific numbers. His whole approach is about eating quality nutrients and he focuses on the quality of food sources. But I did manage to track down some specific numbers in a quote he gave. And he said that a range of 0 0.8 to 1.2 grams of protein. And then we have Eric Helms, again, very popular within the fitness industry. And he gives a nice range as well of 0 0.8 grams to 1.3 grams of protein per pound of body weight. And he states that the amount of protein you need is not as much as people are led to believe to increase muscle mass. And in fact, when maintaining or gaining, he usually has his clients on the lower side of the range, 0 0.8 to 1 grams of protein per pound of body weight. And you're going to get some very popular people giving you very high ranges of how much protein you should take. And so here is the correct way to look at it. And as with most questions such as this, you have to think of yourself on the continuum. How much protein you take depends very heavily on your specific characteristics. And here are some of the characteristics that, that matter. The first is your training experience and how intense your training is. Your body fat percentage, for example, I am quite lean at the moment, around a, about 11% body fat. So I'm at this point of adaptive thermogenesis where my body is being selfish and it doesn't want me to lose any more fat. And so I believe that I have to manipulate my carbohydrate intake as I'm in caloric deficit, I'm gonna decrease my carbohydrates and therefore I need to increase another macronutrient to, to meet my cal calorie goals. And so I will actually increase my protein at the moment. And so that's another example of how it has to be customized to your specific state. And so connected to this is what's, what are your goals and your training state. For example, if you're looking to build muscle mass, that's different to the maintenance of muscle mass in terms of protein intake. And again, are you an elite athlete? Are you training four hours a day, five days, six days a week? Are you a gym rat training intensively five, six days a week? Or are you just somebody training a few times a week for overall health? You are the further up the spectrum towards elite athlete or intense trainer, the more protein that you would intake to compensate for that breakdown of muscle mass that you are initiating. And then another factor will be, are you natural or chemically enhanced? I don't think this really needs much explanation. Really the key variable, which is your eating protocol. For example, you may be on some sort of high fat diet where you're taking in a lot of calories from fat. 
and therefore you may actually need to eat a moderate amount of protein still within muscle building range but a moderate amount of protein because you still need to meet your caloric goals if you are carb cycling the days you are low carb maybe you'll have to intake more protein but another reason that a fairly decent amount of protein is beneficial is because of the thermic effect of food when you eat food you are burning calories through the the processing and digestion of the of that macronutrient and actually protein has a higher thermic effect than carbohydrates and fats as high as 30% of the calories from protein that you intake are burnt up during this process what's important to note here is the protein intake is scaled upwards with severity of caloric restriction and leanness the higher the body fat percentage the lower the protein intake can usually be compared to total body weight and if you do that then it's not necessary to be pounding protein shakes all through the day now personally i like eric helms's range that sort of 0.8 to 1.3 grams per pound of body weight. Don't panic if you've not had protein within a certain amount of time around your training session. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I'll see you soon.